Governor Doyle signed Wisconsin's next budget into law today after lawmakers passed it on Friday. Now, it's a $62 billion budget. The governor made dozens of relatively small changes to it. It takes effect Wednesday. And if expectations come true, it would help close what the state had computed to be a $6.6 .6 billion excess of spending over revenue. But not everybody's pleased with the final result. Fox 11 7 for All brings us balanced coverage from Madison. It's been 32 years since Wisconsin's budget got done on time. Today, for the first time since 1977, this budget will be enacted before the start of the new biennium. On the lawn of the executive residence, Governor Doyle signed the $62 billion budget. But he and lawmakers say getting to the deal wasn't easy. Uh, it was extraordinarily difficult. And there, we had to make a number of cuts in services that the state normally uh, pays for. None of us have enjoyed making deep cuts particularly during a time when people need the services the most. The governor says cuts of more than $3 billion were made, the largest ever in state history. But he says there is a bright side for the middle class. The budget I signed today, with the, with the help of the Democratic legislative majorities, does not raise the sales tax and raises income taxes only on income over $300,000 in this state. They continue to talk about they didn't raise the sales tax and they didn't raise income tax. But they raised every other tax that they could possibly get their hands on. For example, Senate Minority Leader Scott Fitzgerald points to a 75 cent monthly fee for all phones. The state also raised the cigarette tax 75 cents a pack. Five billion dollars in tax increases in five months. That's what we've seen from one-party control here. The governor, however, did veto 81 items in the budget, which reduced spending by more than $10 million. And he says the budget with the vetoes will help to set the stage for a strong recovery for the state in these tough economic times. In Madison, Evan Peralt, Fox 11 News. The budget is still $4 billion larger than any other budget in Wisconsin history. Now, some of those 81 vetoes include further reducing the state's film tax incentive program. The governor says the current credits, which meant mainly paying the stars of the movies, are excessive. Also, eliminating a $15 non-resident boat sticker, claiming the provision would keep tourists away. He also slashed a new fourth full-time employee from the lieutenant governor's office and eliminated the Milwaukee Transit Authority. Still in the budget, also half a million to repair the Grand Opera House in Oshkosh and 46000 to buy recycling bins for the town of Wrightstown. The two-year budget also includes the 6% cuts to most state agencies. The move will result in all state employees being furloughed 16 days over the next two years. It will also lead to around 1,400 layoffs as well as take back 2% pay increases.